be doing a mixed aldol condensation reaction. A mixed aldol condensation reaction is an organic reaction in which an enolate ion reacts with a carbonyl compound to form either a beta hydroxyl aldehyde or a beta hydroxy ketone. This step is followed by dehydration to give a conjugated enone. An example of a mixed aldol condensation or Claisen-Schmidt reaction is the reaction of an aldehyde with a ketone using sodium hydroxide as the base. Today you'll be synthesizing dibenzyl acetone and you'll be using one mole of acetone with two moles of benzaldehyde in a mixed aldol condensation reaction. The intermediate will be the beta hydroxy ketone. You will do this reaction. First the base will remove a proton from the acetone which will form the enolate. This enolate will then attack the carbonyl on the benzaldehyde. Then you will have a hydration step which will form the, benz the beta hydroxy ketone. After this you will have a, a dehydration catalyzed by the base to form your enone. After this step is complete, you will do all of these steps over again starting with your enone. This will give your final product your dibenzyl acetone. As you have seen before, we've already added the benzaldehyde, the ethanol, and the sodium hydroxide. Once you add the acetone, you will continue to shake the round bottom flask for about two to three minutes, and you will see a yellow precipitate beginning to form. If you don't see crystals, use, make sure you scratch the inside of the flask with a glass rod or spatula. Also, if you still don't see crystals, you can put your round bottom flask in an ice bath. After 30 minutes have passed, you will then filter the solid using a Buckner funnel. Wash the crystals three times each with five milliliters of cold water. Refer back to the vacuum filtration video if you have any problems regarding this procedure. Then you will recrystallize the crude product using 70% ethanol. If you have any questions regarding how to recrystallize your crude product, refer back to the recrystallizing video. Once your product has been recrystallized, if you do not see crystals, you'll need to scratch the inside of your flask again to initiate crystallization. Once again, you will collect the product on the Buckner funnel. This time, you'll wash the crystals once with about 3 milliliters of ice-cold 70% ethanol. Dry the product under vacuum filtration by attaching the tube to an aspirator for about 20 minutes. Now you will determine the weight of the dibenzyl acetone and its melting point. 
If you have any questions regarding how to determine the product's melting point, refer back to the video discussing melting point. This is what your final product should look like. Keep in mind that the melting, product, the melting point of your final product should be in the range from about 110.5 to 112 degrees Celsius.